Balancing equations. It's nobody's favorite thing to do, but it is absolutely fundamental in A-level chemistry. You've got to be able to do this, otherwise your mole calculations are gonna be completely screwed over. So what basic things do you need to remember when balancing equation? Well, remember these two things. First thing, what goes in must come out, okay? It sounds really obvious, okay? But what goes in must come out. The same number of atoms and elements of the reactants is going to be the same when it, they come out as products and bearing that in mind all it is is just a rearrangement of the elements in the reactants okay so there's no magic happening here there's nothing appearing or disappearing we're just rearranging the atoms in our reactants to form new products so for example so this is a simple equation that you will have seen before. It's a neutralization reaction between hydrochloric acid, HCl, and sodium hydroxide, NaOH, to form a salt and water, NaCl, and H2O. Now the first thing I'm going to do is check what actual elements and atoms have I got in the reactants. Well, looking at the formulae, I've got two hydrogen atoms, okay? One in the hydrochloric acid and one in the sodium hydroxide. I've got one chlorine, one sodium, and one oxygen. Now I'm gonna do the same on the other side. And now we can see very clearly what's the same and what's different. Actually, what we can tell is that everything's the same. We've got two hydrogen, one chlorine, one sodium, and one oxygen in our product as well. So we don't need to do anything here in terms of balancing. It's already balanced for us because we've got the formulae correct and everything is in a one-to-one -one ratio. We don't need to change any of the big numbers in front. So this is a balanced equation, okay? Because all of these and all of these are exactly the same. Let's take a look at an example. We actually need to do something now. So we're gonna take some lead hydroxide and we're gonna react that with hydrochloric acid again, just because we can. Um, and this is a neutralization reaction. Again, we're forming water and a salt. So H2O and PBCl2, lead chloride is the salt. So I'm gonna go ahead and do exactly what I did for the first one. So we've got one lead, two oxygen, three hydrogen, and one chlorine in our reactants one lead, one oxygen, two hydrogen, and two chlorine in our products. Now, the first thing I'll say here is that the metals are the same. Metals are the first thing I would tend to look at in an equation to see what's balanced. I would always sort your metals out first. That's not a rule. That's not like a worldwide known rule or anything like that, but that's just the way I do things, and I find it easier to do that first. But in this case, they are exactly the same, so we don't need to mess with those. We've got two oxygens and one oxygen, three hydrogens and two, and one chlorine and two chlorine. So what's the first thing I'll do? Well, we just need to take a punt, really. We need to fix these things, all right? So uh, actually, we've got two oxygen over here, okay? They're both in this lead hydroxide. We've got one oxygen here. So all I need to do is actually double the amount of oxygen on this side. So I'm gonna put a big two there, okay? And what that does, it doubles everything behind. So this H2O, okay, now we've now got four hydrogen and two oxygen there. So I'm gonna put four hydrogen there and two oxygen so you know that's the new amount that we've got now i've put that two there okay so now we've fixed the oxygen there but actually we've still got an issue with hydrogen we've got four hydrogen on this side and only three here well that's easily fixed all i have to do is put a big two here and now we've got one two hydrogen there and two hydrogen there so that's four in total okay over this side over here so that's fixed but now we've got two chlorine as well because remember that two doubles everything behind it so we've got two chlorine so now we can get rid of those and get rid of those now it's actually balanced just by putting that two there we've not only sorted our hydrogen out but we've sorted our chlorine two chlorine there and two chlorine there. So this is now a balanced equation, okay? Now we've done something with it. So the rules are as follows. So what we can't do is change the formulae. So never change the formulae, they are fixed if they're correct, okay, they are absolutely absolutely fixed. We can't change any small numbers in the formulae. We only ever change the amount of each substance. And by that, I mean the big numbers in front, like I just put two H2O and two HCl. So in terms of a method, if I could write a method down, if I have to write a method down for this, it will be this. So when you're doing this, 
check that your formulae are correct. So first thing, check your formula. If your formulae are wrong, you're gonna find it almost impossible, if not impossible, to balance your equation. Secondly, go ahead and balance your metals first, all right, because they are probably the most important part if they are present, okay? So look for your metals first and do that and the rest should sort itself out. And if you have to write down, like I did underneath, uh, the, the amounts of different elements, that can only help you. Thirdly, don't be afraid to take a punt, all right? Give it a go. Look at the balance between, you know, the numbers of hydrogens or oxygens or chlorines, whatever you've got, and just stick a two in front of something, okay? You've just got to give it a go because you know what? In an exam, you've got to balance it, so you've got to try. And lastly, practice. Just loads and loads and loads of practice, okay? So that's really, really important. Now, one last thing I want to tell you before we finish up on this video. In this equation here, we've got the burning of propanol, okay? So propanol reacting with oxygen to give four waters and three carbon dioxide. Now, this is only part balanced, okay? On the right-hand side here, we've got 10 oxygens, okay? Now, over here, we've got our O2, which we can use to balance these 10 oxygens out, but there's one cheeky little oxygen over here. So that leaves us with nine oxygen that we need to get from this. Now, we can't put, uh, well, it's not nine O2, okay? What we need is four and a half O2, but that's okay. You can write four and a half there, okay? So really importantly, and last thing I will say here, Half can be used for diatomic elements, okay? So if you've got O2, you've got H2, N2, okay, Cl2, any halogens, then you can use half, okay? So four and a half, five and a half, just half, that's all good, but only for diatomic elements. And if you wanted to use that in a calculation, then you just put 4.5 or 5.5 or whatever it is into your calculator and it will work, okay? So halves, completely okay to use, but only for diatomic elements. So balancing equations, like I said, it's just practice. If I had to give any advice and everybody does things slightly differently, then is check your formulae, balance your metals first, then do your non-metals and don't be afraid to take a punt. Really important. You're going to be doing hundreds of these over your A-level chemistry career, shall we say. So get them right and be confident.